Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Since it's our last episode of Van Week, I thought I would go the extra mile today and we're gonna try to do a mural on our little van here. So this one doesn't really have any markings other than Chevrolet made in Hong Kong. It looks like a Yat Ming to me, even though it doesn't say Yat Ming. I didn't really notice before, but this bumper is humongous and it's almost like they forgot to separate a piece after manufacturing, possibly. Now it's this little line here, suspicious. I think we're gonna trim this bumper down since we're gonna have to re-chrome it anyways. It's quite a mess. Got these little sexy windows on the side. I think we're gonna be able to make it work. It's got good detail even though the base is kind of junk. So to get started, I guess I got one little rivet I gotta drill here and we'll get this thing apart and we'll get going. This is gonna be real cool. I'm gonna try use some of our paint stripper here, just open air. I feel like this stuff's runny enough. It's gonna do the job. Man, that's working beautifully. That stuff is no joke. We even got epic sunroofs. Cool, so this really doesn't need too much work at all. So we'll just get her ready for paint here. A little bit of a crater over here. I don't think that's gonna hurt our mural though. It's not going that far back, so probably just forget about that one. All right. So we're gonna hit this spray booth. I'm gonna hit this with some silver sealer, get this thing kind of primed, and then uh, we'll come back. And then I gotta mix a custom color for whatever this van's gonna be. All right. So I'll meet you in the spray booth. So here's what my plan is. I ended up using white as our base with a purpose that's going to save me an extra step later. So what I'm going to do is this is the shape of our mural right here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. We're going to be able to paint the whole car orange and then I'm going to peel this vinyl off and it's going to expose a white area. I'm going to very carefully cut out my little desert mural, got a little horse. And then that is going to provide the white that will make this little van mural in full color. And then I'm hoping we can very carefully go in with my airbrush and just blend colors in over the edges. So I left myself a good, a good colored edge on this thing. So I'm going to just try blend into it so it looks seamless. Hopefully everything works out. This is kind of our first try doing this, so we will see. The other side of the van is going to be different too, so maybe let's do that. Get ready for this one. Yes. You can see I left another dark area here. That's for my wheel well. So I'm going to just kind of trim that out roughly here. Without the vinyl cutter, I mean, it'd be a struggle. I think you could still get something like this done, but this doesn't have to be exact over here. As long as the color part is larger than this white part, we're good to go. Cool. So that's going to protect our white. Excellent. So now that we got our white figured out, I'm going to go back to the spray booth and I'm going to hit this now with some of that silver sealer and put a nice kind of flake coat over our whole van. 
Okay. And then once that's done, I'm gonna start putting on some grabber orange candy. Okay. All right, we got a nice burnt orange going here. So now the next step of my master plan. All right, let's see how this looks. I'm gonna throw down a little bit of micro set. Candy doesn't really like micro set very much, so. Try not to go too crazy with it. All right, that doesn't look too bad. We're gonna flip to the other side right now. I'm just gonna let this kind of set up and dry. So far, so good. That looks promising. Ever so carefully. Ooh. Boop. Beautiful. And we're gonna lay down some more micro set here. That's why we had to do the white square there because uh, yeah, we just don't get any light at all. Hell yeah, man, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Beautiful. Ugh. It's almost like I made these decals specifically for this van. Which I did. So now the trick is going to be for me to fire up the orange candy again. And I got to just try to dust the edges of this to try to blend it all in without overspraying the center and losing all our color. It's a little while to dry though, for sure, before I try to do anything with it, but that is looking extremely promising right now. So, awesome. All right, this is a bit of an oversight. I'm gonna have to start over, no big deal. Reason being is uh, I'm trying to just blend the edge in. As you guys know, every layer of candy that you put on gets darker. If I was doing what I was doing with an opaque color, I think we would have been fine. But the fact that I was trying to use candies is just making all these dark shades everywhere. It's gonna be just impossible to do with candy. So, so I kind of figured I was gonna run into issues like this as I was sitting in the spray booth. So we're gonna start over. I'm going to drop her back in the old jar here and I'm going to get back up to this point with a new plan and we'll continue the video. So don't do what I did because it ain't going to work. All right, I'm going to give it another try here. This time I'm going to use an opaque color, which means as I'm spraying around our decal here, it's not going to get darker and darker and darker. It's going to just get to its final color and that's as dark as it's going to get. So we're going to give this another try. Hopefully it's a little bit easier this time.
All right, so my second attempt wasn't that great either. The color I was using wasn't dark enough. Here's what I ended up doing. Good old black covers everything. I was able to blend up into my decals. So hopefully when this is clear coated, we don't see the seam. It could be epic. I don't know. So it looks like it's gonna work out all right. So it's gonna be interesting. I got some details to do on this body and uh, we got to start doing some work on the base here. Boy, tackling the paint on that van was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be an easy video, just a breeze. Yes. So I'm going to just go ahead and snip these ends off here. Do 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 do. It's looking a little better. Still a little thick, but it's okay. As long as it doesn't stick out into the other lane of traffic, we're good. All right, so I'm about to douse this thing in the Malantau pan. I think that's gonna make it look real good. It'll be like brand new. The stuff you have to put on like real runny. All right, I've got this thing just coated with Malentau. So I'm gonna take it to the oven and I'm gonna let it dry. And then I think we're gonna go clear coat our van body and cross my fingers. Hopefully it looks great when it's clear coated. Cause we gotta finish off van week properly. You know what I'm saying, Vern? Hell yeah. So I got our van body clear coated. So I'm just trying to get the windshield cleaned up here. Do a couple little details on our base, etc. So we're almost ready for a reveal. This thing was pretty chipped up. So I'm just sanding it with a little 2000. And then of course I'll just polish with the Dremel. Can use a little of this Meguiar's here. I don't necessarily recommend this stuff, but I bought it. So I might as well use it. I think I saw Bare Metal use it once. So I was like, oh, if he uses it, it must be good. Beautiful. That one worked out really well. For this polish to work good, it needs to have the right kind of plastic, it seems. It needs to be that really hard, crispy windshield plastic. All right, you guys ready to have a look at this thing? Glee, 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 Hell yeah, look at that. Got a nice little desert scene. And our little Mustang on that side. I think it's looking real good. Let's get it up on the rotisserie. So what do you guys think of this creation? <laughs> I think it looks pretty legit, honestly. Right down to those dorky wheels I put on it. Turned out all right for a Yatming van. I would have preferred to do it on a Hot Wheels Super Van or something a little bit different, but I think it's pretty sweet. Look at that thing. Yeah. When you see it in person, uh, there's actually sparkles on the murals themselves. So they don't really film that well though, unfortunately. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm a little bit relieved. This one was a little bit stressful, you know, having to try switch colors on the fly a few times. It was a good learning experience for me, so now I know what to do for next time. But that concludes van week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll lay off the vans for a while. I feel like doing a restoration or something like that. So I'm going to see what I got and uh, I'll have something for you in a couple days. I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.